Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Karina Joelle. If you're new here, if you're not new here, I'm very tired, but I'm still Karina Joelle. So today's a very exciting day because I got my hands on this beauty. You might recognize her. This is the new Anastasia Beverly Hills Foundation. I'm so excited to try this. I've been counting down the days and making sure I knew when this foundation was going to be in stores because I knew I needed it. So this isn't, um, this is not ABH's first foundation, but this is their new Luminous Foundation. So let's just get into what it claims. First on the side of the container here, you can't really see it. Plus, look, she's so cute, so chic, so shiny, like it makes you want to buy it. So on the side here it says vegan, which is a very, very, very big plus. The biggest star you could get is being vegan. Um, it's gluten free alcohol-free, clinically tested, dermatologist tested, opathologist tested, ophthalmologist tested, look that one up, non-comogenic, suitable for sensitive skin, long wearing, and no flashback. So on the Instagram and Twitter and everything, they claim that it's a natural looking foundation, long wearing, and it makes your skin glow. And what's awesome about this is that they had a really good uh, skin tone range. They even have like undertones, cool, neutral, warm, which is really awesome. I picked up the shade 24N. It just looked the best for me from what was actually on display. Some, there were a few missing. That I did pick up some of the foundations. For, I think it's like a pre-launch or like a soft launch. I think it was an Ulta exclusive to have like some of the shades in stock, but like only a limited stock. So I feel very lucky that I was able to pick some up. So I grabbed 2240N. I hope it matches me, but if not, then <laughs> we'll still wear it. So yes, so they had 50 shades and there was like the 100, the 200s, 300s, 400, 500, 500 being the deeper end, it starts to get darker in the 300s, which is awesome. So that's like a good group of darker shades for all the darker skin tone people out there. And they all look so stunning. I cannot wait to put this on my skin. So let's shut up and do this. So I'm just going to fast through this through this part, I'm going to prep my skin the way I normally would because I want to see how this would act and I want to see how this will act in my normal routine. Alright guys, it is showtime. We are going to take the foundation out of the box. I've already seen it, but you need to see it. It's pretty stunning, so. Gorgeous. The foundation on the side, ABH logo. Love it. It's really nice, really sturdy. It kind of reminds me of the Maybelline like Fit Me bottle, but like higher quality. But this is the best part. We got a pump, obviously I've already tested it out. So I'm going to put the foundation on the way I would normally put foundation on. So I'm just going to take a brush. This is a NYX makeup brush 22. Oh, it's just a little slanty head one. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna squirt some of the product in there. We'll start with one, two. Now this might not be my shade, but we'll see what happens. And I'm just gonna do work with it the way I would norm normally work with it. So 
so you can tell that it's like not my shade but it's not bad it's just a bit more creamy um, more more tan than I am so I like to go over with wow it really does have some like shine to it though I like to apply my foundation first with a brush and then go over with a sponge to really soak up what's extra bring it around the skin and that just looks once I blend it in it doesn't look that bad for not being my exact shade I'm not mad about that grabbed one more pump Alright, so it's fully applied on my skin. I brought it down my neck because it doesn't exactly match, but it's so stunning. I think it looks like on the skin, really nice, really glowy, just very nat very natural, just like they claimed. Oh, ABH. Cheers, buddy. So the skin looks really nice. I really just needed one layer of everything, but what really matters is how my products work with it. I think that shows a lot. So I'm going to put my eyebrows on real quick because I need them. I'm going to throw my eyebrows on real quick and then we'll put some other products on the face, let this settle in real quick. Okay, so my eyebrows are on. So now I've let the sit into my skin. It's nice, I definitely want to set it. It's just got that like slightly sticky foundation texture, you know, like that's that's normal, that happens. I think it looks so nice. It kind of makes me want to get a tan because I'm not this tan. But I really like the way it looks. It's definitely, I would, I'm sure the coverage is buildable, but with a sheer layer, it's like a medium coverage, I will say that. But it looks nice. I'll have to try building it up, but I don't really want to do that today. I'll list down below when I continue to wear this. Maybe tomorrow I'll build up the coverage a little bit more. Just, you know, throw a second layer down because I want to wear it the way I would normally wear it and get my review based off that. But so far, I think it looks amazing, but we have to see how it plays with others. Mm. So I'm going to take my Morphe... 39A palette and I'm going to do what I usually do and take the three shades right here, no these ones, these ones, and use them as my bronzer and contour situation. So let's see how it plays with the foundation. So it looks like it's playing with the powder really, really well. I'm gonna wipe that off though. I didn't put any. It looks like it plays with the powder really, really well. Even when I've powdered it down, it still just kind of has this like inner glow to it. And I think it looks pretty fantastic. I'm so in love with this freaking foundation right now. I'm so excited. Sometimes when I buy, just because I'm not made of money, shocker, I know. Um, sometimes when I buy like a higher end foundation, a more expensive foundation than my $14, $14 L'Oreal Pro Glow, which I am in love with. I love that foundation. I think it's amazing. I don't know what's going on with my sassy hands today. I'm sorry guys, but I'm not really sorry. I was saying was sometimes with higher end foundation when you're spending your hard-earned money 
it's gonna go in with Milani Luminoso while I rant. Um, when you buy a higher end foundation when, you know, you don't always have the money to. Look a cutie today. Um, sometimes when you buy a higher end foundation when you don't always have the money to, I feel like you have to, uh, if you don't always love it, you kind of try and convince yourself that you do. Does that make sense to anyone? Let me know if you also do that, but I bought one higher end foundation and I convinced myself that I loved it, but I didn't. I can now admit that I didn't. I'm not going to shame what foundation it was. It was just a really thick formula and I don't really like a thick formula. I like this formula. This is my favorite formula. I just fell in love. You guys just witnessed me falling in love. Isn't it beautiful? Alright, so I'm going to blush my sideburns away. So now I'm going to go in with my Wet n Wild Loose Highlight. My video on Friday, which I intended for Tuesday, so in that video I'm going to be talking a lot like it's Tuesday, but it's actually going to be my Friday video. Confusing, I know. I tried this for the first time and I am in love. It is so pretty. Oh my god. Oh my god. Small amount. <coughs> Excuse me. Dangerous. I feel like a glowy, beautiful goddess. That's just how I feel today. Alright guys, I'm just going to be honest with you right now, this foundation, it's fucking gorgeous. I fucking love it. I'm sorry for the F-bombs. But so far, first impression, I think it is, like, I look so good. I'm sorry to say that. Let me turn it down and I'll zoom you in to see if you guys can see it a little bit more. Let's see if this actually works. See, I just think it looks... So nice on the skin. Hopefully it looks nice to you guys. I think it looks so good. Setting into here, everything's always gonna set into there. So, but it hasn't done it as much so as my other foundations would. I just think it looks so beautiful on the skin. I just think it looks stunning. I'm in love. Alright, so it is currently. It's currently 8.33 a.m. I have work at 9. I have a lovely eight-hour shift today. So I'm going to wear this for as long as possible, and I will give you guys updates throughout the day on how it's looking. I'll be doing that from my phone, though, so it's going to get super HD up in here. Um, but so far, first impression, I think it looks amazing. I'm so excited to see how it wears throughout the day. Uh, I didn't get my exact shade match, but I don't think it looks terrible at all. I think it looks lovely. I think it's so gorgeous. I'm like so excited about this foundation. I can't wait to see how it wears. I can't wait to see what you guys think of it. So yes. So I'm excited. I'm going to shut up, finish my eyes, see if I want to do anything to them. Um, but yes, I'll be checking in with you guys via the phone, Karina's phone. So yes, I will see you guys soon. I'm excited to see how this wears. Hi guys, so at this time, it's about 7 o'clock, I've been wearing the foundation for about 11 hours, and there's been some wear and tear around my mouth from eating and sweating in the summer. That's pretty normal for a foundation, sorry I have my glasses on. There has been some creasing under my eyes, and I have some little bumpies, but I think that just might be my skin. We will not blame the foundation on that. But regardless, I do think it's a gorgeous foundation, and maybe if I set it a little bit better under my eyes, there wouldn't have been that creasing. They did come out with a 
baking or a powder to go with the foundation that I did not purchase. So that's my bad. I'm sure it works flawlessly with it. My final thoughts on this foundation is the only thing I wish was different was that I bought my actual shade. I think it's lovely. I think it felt so good. I felt like I was glowing from the inside out. It felt so good. I, I really love it. I really enjoy it. And to anyone who wants a dewy, gorgeous foundation, I would suggest it, you know? But if it's a little out of your price point, that's understandable. There's a lot of other options out there. But regardless, I give this an A+, and I will continue to use it and maybe swap it out for my shade. But I think it's stunning. It's It feels so nice. It feels so pretty. And yeah, so thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to give this a thumbs up if you liked it. Let me know down below if you'll be picking this foundation up. And subscribe if you want to see me do more videos. And I'll see you guys on Friday. Bye. Don't forget to be nice people. Okay, it's very important these days.